Appreciate everybody being here. The purpose of today's meeting is just to discuss um, our public hearing sites. We intend to have public hearings around the state um, in regards to redistricting to allow input from as, as many folks around the state as want to uh, express their desires in redistricting. Uh, we've, we've done some research. Uh, Doug McKillop has been working on that uh, diligently for a couple of weeks now. And so we want to open it up to uh, Doug to kind of explain what he's been doing and how he's been doing it, and then any members of the committee that have suggestions on uh, locations for the public hearings. We intend to start those sometime um, April or May and, and try to make it as inclusive around the state as we can realizing that it, they all cost a lot of money, but uh, they don't cost that much, I don't think, so we, we're probably going to have quite a number of them and try to cover the state as thoroughly as we can. Uh, so at this time, I'll turn it over to um, Secretary McKillop, and he can kind of tell you what work he's done and how he's come up with his lists and then get input from any committee members and then anybody out there that wants to comment on specific sites you'd like to have us come to, we'd be glad to take that in. And then when we get through with that, of course, we have to get with the Senate. There'll be joint meetings with the House and the Senate reapportionment committees. So um, once once we get our locations kind of firmed up where, where we generally think we should be, then we'll work with the Senate Senate chairman of reapportionment and uh, try to come up with a final list and start getting that into works and get it out to everybody. Secretary McKillop. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, let's see. Well, I just want to go through briefly sort of our methodology in, in trying to gather as much information and input from uh, all members uh, of the House as we go forward to determine where we want to go ahead and schedule and plan to have uh, public hearings on reapportionment. Uh, it's something that we know we need to do to be uh, inclusive so everybody in the population gets an opportunity to be heard uh, by not only this committee but then also uh, their intentions made known to the full House. Uh, and we've tried to make sure that we've given an opportunity to each and every House member to come forward and voice any specific uh, specifics, either cities or criteria, that they feel are important uh, to help this committee make its determination on locations. To that end, we had placed on each member's desk um, a worksheet asking for suggested cities uh, or counties or population centers, or if you don't want to suggest a specific city, then criteria that the any member may think is important uh, for us to consider in determining where these hearings should be held uh, to date. And we did have a, a deadline of the, on there of uh, February 22nd. That is, please just fill them in and get them back to me at my desk. Um, I just ignored that and gave people, you know, forms as late as today, saying go ahead and give them back to me. Total, we got 37 uh, out of 180. <laughs> Maybe we'll get one more. It was on your desk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we, we, put them, we put them on the house desks one morning about three weeks ago. But uh, of, the, of the 180, we got back 37 and uh, took those into account as we went forward, and then we're going to take more information into account that we get here today. I will just, uh, if the chairman will indulge me, I'll read off uh, the suggestions that we got as far as cities and the number of members that suggested each city. Um, and this won't take a second, but uh, of the 37 submissions, people didn't li lim limit themselves to one city, uh, one or two. They just made as many suggestions or as few as they wanted, and we were fine with that. They could suggest areas outside their district or inside or population centers and the like. So we had one for Brunswick, one for Rome, one for Waynesboro, four, I'm sorry, five for Rome, Four for Augusta, one for Norcross, one for Johns Creek, three for Moultrie, three for Savannah, four for Atlanta, one for Albany, one, two for Columbus, four for Macon, one for Cartersville, one for Loganville, one for Fairburn, one for Lawrenceville, one for Duluth, one for Dalton, one for Tifton, three for Gainesville, one for Cleveland, one for Dunwoody, one for Cumming, two for Valdosta, one for Calhoun, one for Blakely, one for LaGrange slash West Point, Athens, uh, one. Uh, Shambly, Doraville, Noonan. We had one for Darien, Mr. Chairman. I thought that was a very good one. <laughs> uh, one for Lithonia Conyers and one for Cordell. We also had the suggestion uh, that we live stream uh, at least one of these or set up a special forum online. And, in fact, I can, I'm uh, authorized to say that Representative Brockway has spoken to the folks at Peach Pundit, and they have volunteered to live stream a forum or have their own forum for us so that those people who are Internet savvy and don't feel like uh, getting out in a car and coming to an actual meeting. So that's something that we can also consider here today. Um, and also um, 
That's what we did. That's all the input that we got from the members. I also made an announcement this morning uh, that anyone who wanted to come to this meeting, we would take uh, additional comments or testimony from any members and uh, put together a list for the committee to consider. Okay. Thank you. Um, to, another one from Dalton. Dalton. Anybody else for Darian? Yes, sir. I'll, I'll say <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anybody? Anybody else have any? Um, just punch in your button down there. Yeah. Yeah. Just. Just. Decatur and uh, do we have Atlanta? I think you Atlanta's may have said four. And, okay. And you, okay. Sorry. That's fine. No, it's still good to put your input in so we know yep. what the committee members are thinking. Uh, this is going to be wind up being negotiated with the Senate Reapportionment Committee, of course, and. Uh, Trying to limit it to some number, we can't go to all these all these sites that we have recommendations on. But we want to go to enough of them that we will feel like we've have made it available to as as, as much of the population as we can uh, without uh, spending all the state's money. So we're we're going to continue working on that. Um, yeah, and then I think we've already got some suggested that. Uh, you might kind of tell how you how you came up with your list, and then uh... right as I and as I reviewed all of the suggestions that had been made, uh, we obviously saw some patterns, and that is people are looking for generally cities, generally population centers, except those people who are just saying they want one in their district, no matter how few people live there. We had, of course, some of those, <laughs> but what we were trying to do is is as I looked through it, we wanted to concentrate on population centers and areas where you would get the greatest population that was in a one-hour drive, and so to that end, we uh, I had a a um, I hate to even say the word map. I had a diagram made of uh, the 30 most populated counties, uh, and we sort of shot for those areas. And they, to a great extent, matched up with the, the things people had suggested. And so the, the list, as I, as I am bringing it to the committee that I am suggesting here today, are, include 13 locations uh, as follows. Brunswick, which is very close to Darien. Close. Uh, Peachtree City, Athens, Augusta, Savannah, Valdosta, Albany, Columbus, Macon, Calhoun, Douglasville, Decatur, and Sandy Springs is the uh, sort of the thumbnail sketch that I'm presenting to the committee and I, to, to just consider and throw out there for discussion as we move forward to come up with our list to be presented to the Senate. And does, does each member have a list of those in their folder? Was there a list? No, not this list. Not that I, list. I, didn't, I, I wanted to just let everybody come and talk. And okay. So we don't, have, we don't have that list in the folder. No, but so. I can distribute it to everyone. Till now, okay. Any any comments? Number and they don't have that because that list has just been generated based on the last minute data that we're still getting in to Chair even today. Chairman Reinders. Thank you so much, uh, Chairman. Thank you, Ms. McKillop, for your work on this. I think um, since really the purpose of going throughout the state is to get the input of the public, it certainly makes sense to be able to go into those uh, television markets. I would suggest that we look at it like any statewide candidate would which is which television markets can we maybe get a, uh, a day in advance out it's going to be held. That certainly would draw, draw the people in. And uh, I applaud uh, Representative McKillop for the um, preliminary list of 13 cities. I think he's pretty close to being right on the mark there. Okay. That's a good, good, good suggestion. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else trying to, trying to bugs in, buzz in down there? Your light's blinking, so I can't. It won't go off. <laughs> I think it's broke. That's that's one that doesn't work. Anybody else have any comments on the uh, sites that uh, Secretary McKillop has mentioned? Is everybody kind of in agreement as a starting place for us to use those sites to uh, negotiate with the Senate? I don't know if they've if the Senate committee has received all of those sites yet. Have they? No. Okay. This is hot off the press. Hot off the press. Okay. Okay. We got another another question or comment here. In in view of what uh, Representative Reinders said, moving a little further north than than Rome would bring you up closer to the Chattanooga TV markets, which actually blanket the northwest part of the state. As opposed to Rome, 
Plus, it also gets you to into the carpet area where there's Calhoun, which is right here. Yeah, we we had Calhoun on the final list instead of Rome. Okay. How does that? How does that? Um, you got a larger facility in the, the uh, trade center there in Dalton, which will seat up to 2,500. But no, and I agree. The the only plus the only it access right off of the interstate. Yeah, I, yeah. I think part of part of Calhoun was was a request from uh, the rules chairman. As a central well, that, location in uh, North Georgia, and that, that trumps uh, the vice chair. <laughs> well, no, not, not, also not necessarily. Not necessarily. It was just he made sense with it that it was centrally located, yeah, and that it would be a. He had the facilities and everything there since he was there. But I know Dalton has has a larger market and larger uh, coverage there, probably. Also, the only three counties in that region that are in the top 30 of population are Whitfield, Floyd, and Bartow, and Calhoun actually is pretty equidistant from each of them. Mm -hmm. It allows each of them to get in within an hour. Okay, number 24, Chairman Reinders. Yeah, I'm going to come down to Thank, the thank of the you. Black. Mr. Chairman, I think perhaps, just thinking out loud a little bit, that the starting point would be the Columbus, Macon, Augusta, Albany, Atlanta, Savannah, slash Brunswick market, and I've counted that to be seven then obviously you need a northeast point, which would be that Dalton, Rome, Chattanooga area, and then a northeast point, which would be the, I would assume, the Gainesville or the Athens area. And, and I think at the end of the day that might leave us with a solid 9 or 10. Well, then you have to do Atlanta. Yeah, that was, I think, one of the original ones I mentioned, Columbus, Macon, Augusta, Albany, Atlanta, and Savannah or, or Brunswick. Presently we have four in and around the Atlanta metro area just because of the sheer volume of population. Right. And I and I and I, and I mentioned that just based on the what I looked at from that was offered up ten years ago, where one was held in Fulton County in the Atlanta area. We're going to do better than they did four years ago. Great. I'm sorry, ten years ago. Representative Black. Uh, I want to raise the, the question and get some thought as to what our objectives is uh, from the standpoint of uh, we're holding these hearings out here to give people the access to come and address the members of the committee, or is this uh, uh, more focused on getting publicity out in, into the section? And, and one of the things that's entered in my mind is that when you were talking about having this streamed over the Internet, and we've talked about having it uh, close to these TV markets, if you create a platform for people you draw, you're going to draw some nuts to come talk to you. And, and, and I'm seeing big evidence that when uh, local uh, county commissions, city councils, school boards go to televise in their meetings, it becomes uh, a, a circus in some situations. Well, the Senate will be with us. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, like I said, uh, was, yeah, yeah, this uh, was if, if, if that's what you want, you get to, I mean, I would, but well, I think that needs to be taken into consideration. Thank you for those comments. Uh, our, our goal, our goal is to make the hearings accessible to as many uh, Georgia citizens as we can, and of course, part of that is um, being able to market that we're coming, to get the message out there that we're going that we're going to be in their areas. And so, so they kind of, they kind of go together. I think and you can do that, and uh, and maybe limit the time and the access of, of, of the people to, to to get up and speak and, and sort of get the stage. Well, that, that's going to be up to the chairman to uh, make sure that we're getting uh, valid in, valid input. You know, we don't want you know we don't want it to be uh, made a circus. And it's not going to be made a circus. It's serious business, and we're there. We're there to. Uh, Get all the input we can, and and uh, keep it under control, and keep it to that issue. And uh, I think we can handle that with with the folks we have on this committee than the ones that are going to show up. I think we can handle that pretty well. Here's this, Chairman Yates. Yeah, you you might uh, consider uh, the area south of Atlanta. You got several big counties there. You got uh, Cade, um, uh You got uh, Clayton, uh, Henry. In that area down there, there might be a spot there you need to put one in. His, his uh, technical schools down there, you could have it in. That's Andy Springs. That's Andy Springs. 
Oh, can I hit? Where is it? What's down here in Fayette? Peachtree City. Peach That's right. City. We had Peachtree City. That was one. Uh, Peachtree City it? was in Fayette, which is the area we're trying to catch those four counties. Oh, and this know. list is not done. It's, 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 I'm answering the questions, but that this is for the will of the committee, whatever we do with the list. It's his own list. He's cut off at the end. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Is it that okay? Number 11. Is that Representative Reese? Okay. We have Augusta. Augusta's on. Augusta's on the list. Oh, that's the wrong list you have there. Well, we're, we're not working from a list that's been handed out. This is a list that literally has just been put together. Just my suggestion, based on the input that I've received so far, and and comments from uh, floor members, uh, members of the house, and and on and on. So this is just a starting point. Just suggestions. It is up to the will of the committee wh what goes on the list and doesn't. But to answer your question, of the 13 that I suggested, Augusta is number four. And the list and the list that's in the folder was put together at the request of Senate Se Senator Seaball. Uh, asked the ACCG to contact, send out something to the locations around the state and to give recommendations on places to have some of these hearings in the different counties and facilities that they would make available. And that's what that list is that you have in your folder, is one that the uh, ACG, ACCG put together uh, for Senator Seaball. Oh, well, yes, sir. And, and I apologize if I missed it, if I, if I missed it to the point. What's the tempo of the, I guess, the uh, goal in this? Well, the goal, the goal is to um, uh, have joint meetings with the Senate and the and the House reapportionment committees around the state in as many areas as we can to get simply to get input from folks in that area as to how they uh, would desire that we do their areas in redistricting to get some input as to what their thoughts are on redrawing or, or keeping the districts that they have or whatever input they have. Uh, and, and we want to do that around as much as we can, and that's that's the goal, and that's what we're going that's what we're going to limit it to to those those type activities. Somebody else. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Can we consider uh, Stockbridge? There's a uh, city hall in Stockbridge that would welcome us. He's putting it down to consider. All right, anybody else? You don't want one in Savannah, do you? Warner <laughs> Robbins. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, <laughs> I was thinking about your, your Garden City. <laughs> All right, any, 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 does, does anybody else here desire to say something to our committee about, about what we're doing here? We're, we're trying to just keep everybody informed and, and, uh, uh, get input on this as much as we can, and we'll probably start these sometime in uh, April or early May, start having the hearings. That's all to be worked out is when the Senate and the House committees can agree. Um, but, you know, we've got a lot of work to do, so we've got to get the locations pinned down, and, and, and we're working with Senator Seaball, Chairman Seaball, to uh, get the Senate to be looking at our list and them getting their list to us and see if we can put those together and come up with a, a final list of locations to get to you. Number 16. Just a quick question. Uh, we haven't decided on how many meetings we're going to have, have we? No. It looks like it's going to be more than 10, though. In order to do what, in order to do what we want to do, it looks like it's going to be you know, 12 or 13, probably. But we start out shooting for five or six, and, and when you try to locate those and, and the amount of area you're trying to cover, you just can't get it done doing it that way. So it's going to wind up being about 12 or 13. Representative Reese. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I had made a note for Representative McKillop to look at the possibility of having one per congressional district. Do you think as closely as the Atlanta metro area is populated 
that one hearing might serve two of the congressional districts here to cut down on the number that would be needed? We haven't we haven't really looked at it that mm -hmm. way, but I mean we have had that suggestion that we have have at least have one in each right. congressional district. Um, we, we're going to have 14 congressional districts. We don't know where the 14th meeting would be, but but we probably can get a lot of suggestions on that from the from 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 the members of the legislature <laughs> and, and others. But uh, yeah, that's a good suggestion. We've looked we, we have looked at that some. Um, I don't think we can fit it in exactly to have one only one per congressional district, but that's certainly part of what we're looking at. That's good good comment. Any other lights? I got to turn some of these off. I got everybody turned on here. <laughs> this one won't turn off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Anybody else? Anybody else got anything? Is everybody fairly comfortable on the committee with how we're approaching this? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll continue. We'll continue working on the list and get with the Senate and hopefully. Uh, Hopefully, uh, next few days or weeks, we'll have something worked out and uh, get back with you all and release it to you. So if there's nothing else, um, I'll, I'll accept a motion to adjourn. So made. All, all in favor? Any opposed? We're adjourned. Thanks, thanks everybody, for coming. We made it as short as we could. <laughs>